What's up guys, welcome back to Naruto episode 349 review, the start of the Kakashi Anbu filler. Now this episode was actually pretty good, it was nice to kind of have a, like a slow down episode, kind of explaining some stuff, as well as you know, showing what happened in the past, Donzo still being a douche to everybody and everything, so it was an alright episode, I really did enjoy it, and it was really great. So. From what we noticed in the beginning of the episode, Kakashi kind of like, he still felt the burden of having Ren and Obito killed, so, you know, he was having all kinds of visions. He was basically traumatized in a way, he couldn't actually concentrate, he couldn't, you know, just go about talking to anyone because he was just so, you know, depressed that he lost both Ren and Kakashi. I mean, mostly you see he cared about Ren most of the time because he only saw visions of Ren and only thought about Obito like one time, so that's when that happened. And then we have, you know, the whole situation with Donzo. I hate him so much. And here was in when he was planning on stepping down as Hokage due to some decisions he made that weren't really right. And Donzo basically just like kind of guilting him down to actually step down. And then Donzo really he recommended Orochimaru as Hokage. I would have been kicked him out the village, like really. Why would you recommend Orochimaru? I mean, obviously he knew that Orochimaru was doing his research and all that kind of stuff. What kind of stuff he'd been up to. And that just tells me that Kakashi, not Kakashi, but Donzo's actually a messed up guy. He actually knew about Orochimaru's experiments. I didn't know that. He knew about them and he didn't really care. So he just went about recommending him as Hokage and even in like freaking complain like he complained about hey you're gonna recommend Minato he's too young he's a disciple of your disciple and it was kind of weird though cuz wasn't well never mind so we got um heroes and the third Hokage stepping down as Hokage and recommending Minato now that's how Minato got actually recommended due to the fact that you know he was tired by Jirai, he actually felt that he could do a good job because he was named the Yellow Flash of the Yeet Leaf Village. He was actually strong enough to actually cap be capable of becoming Hokage. And then, my favorite moment of this um, episode, I'm not really sure if it was my favorite moment, but like, it was whenever he went home to Kashina and he kind of like, he kind of wanted to tell Kashina like that, but he just told Kashina that he was becoming the fourth Hokage and uh, she was like oh well this, like, she, she saw what he said and she got all surprised and everything so that was a nice moment between uh, Kashina and Minato just showing the relationship how they actually were back then and that was pretty nice of them to add that so Minato and then, then we got to the whole uh, celebration of Minato becoming the fourth Hokage and heroes and stepping down so that was a nice little celebration because she was actually surprised too he is like, hey Ren, our sensei is becoming the Hokage, and all that kind of stuff, just saying. So, it was overall awesome episode, and then my other favorite part is when Minato was like, well, well let's kind of like skip that for a second, but then go to how Minato sent him on this mission, where he was basically kind of like thinking about this is the jutsu that killed Ren, and he couldn't just go put the jutsu, he couldn't do anything with it, he just couldn't go on, he couldn't even fight those people, so he had to have um, Guy come and save him, so Kashi actually, you know, was traumatized in a way, so after that, Minato thought that assigning um, him to the Abu Black Ops where he could be close to Minato would be a good idea to help him out with his trauma or whatever. So that's how that's how he got to the Amu Black Ops because he was recommended or he was ordered to join by Minato. So that was awesome. I like that. And then we had an awesome him putting on the mask, and then you see the shining on, shining on. Why well, I say it like that? But yeah. So this episode was great. If all the episodes are gonna be like this, just kind of like you know slowly getting into action. It's going to be an awesome filler art. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to thumbs up for this episode. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.